right, y'all. So, look, we on this show, we talk to all kinds of black people. We're not afraid of any subject. And so I get a kick out of these uh, these crazy, deranged black conservatives, not like Derek. Uh, but the other <laughs> folks who are afraid that I'm going to bite them because, you know, it's just too hard. All right, folks, back to our Roadmark Unfiltered video in just one moment. I want to thank one of our uh, newest supporters. Uh, uh, I'm going to talk about this, talk to you about right now. If you're looking for a hot new investment opportunity, I have two things I want you to think about. Legal marijuana and crowdfunding. Now, you just let that sink in for a second. Our friends at Transatlantic Real Estate have created a unique opportunity for everyday investors like like you to get in the game for as little as 300 bucks. Uh, typically, it takes millions or billions to invest in the legal marijuana industry. Some folks, we're going to leave that alone. But uh, and it can be pretty risky uh, trying to establish market share. However, Transatlantic Real Estate is taking a different approach. They buy the land that supports marijuana grow operations and lease it to licensed, high-paying tenants. Now imagine being a landlord to licensed marijuana farm with the prospect of further legalization and changing public perceptions about marijuana. Some investors could end up making serious money over the next few years in this multi-billion dollar industry. The best part is they're using crowdfunding so you can get in now before they take the company public. If you want more information, go to MarijuanaStock.org. That's MarijuanaStock.org. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video. So check this out. So today I got this email uh, from uh, Maria uh, Sliwa. Uh, and so she has a PR agency. And, and so this was the email, y'all. Pull it up. America Sheriff and Straight Talker David Clark is available to comment on the midterms. All right, let's talk. So I said, Jackie, send him an email. So Jackie, our booker, sent him an email. And they said, oh, no, 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 no. David Clark, he prefers talking to conservative media. Mm -hmm. Bruh, <laughs> what you said? <laughs> now, now, don't stop. First of all, the email came to me. <laughs> don't send me an email saying you uh, want to talk to me about the midterms. And then when it's a brother, you don't want to talk. So then I went on Twitter and said, ah, here's David Clark being a snowflake. And then he's like, oh, there's Roland Martin being a lib, calling people names. Y'all, he calls people names all day, every day. Eton, I just, I just love uh, the, the crazy folk. Because first of all, he all had no cattle. Right. Okay? Right. Because, he, you know, somebody tweeted he a rhinestone cowboy. That was pretty damn funny. <laughs> uh, but, but, but what gets me is... I've had him on the show twice before. Yeah. He goes, oh, yeah, you know, I prefer having discussions about facts, you know, and about research, <laughs> like plagiarizing your thesis. Fact. And, mm. but what kills me is, this is sort of like Candace Owens and the rest of these folks. Right. Who want to run their mouths, trashing black people, but they don't want to come talk to black people. Mm -hmm. Well, they want to go where they're celebrated, and they're celebrated on Fox News. I mean, that's why it... And Fox News won't even call me. Of course they're not. They don't want you. <laughs> Matter of fact, they'll call all four of y'all before they call me. They, they, they're like, nah, we ain't calling that brother. Right, they want certain type of black people. Certain black people who they could point to and say, see, he agrees with us. And it's, it's, it's so disheartening seeing black person after black person fall for that. You know what I mean? Because, you know, you look at Candace Owen, you look at, you look at Jason Whitlock, who I watched your interview, and you see that, like, it looks like he's auditioning for Fox News. You know? And, and you know... He's on Fox Sports 1. Yeah, but no, but they, they want to... He's auditioning. He has a spot on Fox News after he finishes with FS1. And, and the thing about it is, you know, they don't understand how they're playing themselves. You know, I, 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 I question if they even believe everything that they say or that they know that there's the audience who will pay them to, to do what they're doing which is even worse. And especially what kills me is we have, I, I would dare say that I have more black conservatives right. on this show right. than even Fox News. I'm talking right. about on a consistent basis. So now I'm going to defend Sheriff Clark. Uh oh. Right? I'm uh oh. Sheriff Clark. Because I remember the time where we were in the studio and it wasn't a plan for him to be right, on. And you were show. able to get him, get him in the, the show, studio right. and he came in and you you kind of lit it up. No, man. actually, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> actually, actually, I was nice that day. <laughs> <laughs> that, I, that, that, wasn't, that wasn't even like uh, hitting him with, you know, uh, with a fire poker. No, I, I, I backed off that day. And folks were like, Roland, you went easy on a brother. But, 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 but see, here's, what, here's, here's my, my biggest deal. And so I appreciate whether it's Derek, whether it's Malik, whether it's Shannon, whether it's Brandon, Eugene, a whole bunch of black conservatives who say, no, 
if we gonna talk, and it's gonna be a family conversation, a family be conversation. Part of the conversation right. Right. But see, my issue with the folks like David Clark mm -hmm. and Candace Owens and some of these other fools, they are in a sense dancing in front of white people. No question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And see, that's my issue. Right. Mm -hmm. See, don't tell me you trying to reach black people, but you won't talk to black people. Yeah, right. Just like right. Donald Trump. Right. Donald Trump has lied. Laura Ingram asked him, is he going to have any inner city rallies? What that means is, are you going to talk to black people? He goes, yeah, they're on the schedule. We called and checked. No, it's not. He has no intentions on talking to black people. He loves talking about black people right. to white people. Right. But he won't come talk to black people. He won't sit down for interviews with black people. He won't sit down with black owned media. Yeah. He won't have these conversations. But he did talk and to Kanye, it. though, didn't he? Yeah, he talked to Kanye. <laughs> right. Him, him, him and Jim Brown. <laughs> who I, and I think Jim knows he was there, maybe. But again, that's what you have it, Teresa. You have this game being played. And when I say, when I say to a Sheriff Clark, <clears throat> man up and walk in, have a debate. Because here's the piece I ain't afraid of Fox News. I ain't afraid of Sean Handy. Sean Handy. I ain't afraid of Laura Ingram. I'm not afraid of. Martha McCollum, Tucker Carlson, Lou Dobbs, uh, Kennedy, uh, outnumbered, all of them, the five, the seven, the nine, it don't matter. Matter of fact, I got no problem that if it's 10 of them and just me, that's unfair for y'all. Hey, Rolly, you have to. Rolly, Rolly, you have to. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be like Neo from The Matrix. <laughs> Right. <laughs> <laughs> but Rolly, you also have to understand where the media climate is. As you well know, we when some of the black community, you know, when we listen to, you know, the show and the podcast, we know we can go to Roland Martin's show and we can hear facts, right? We can hear history. We can hear uh, significance. And I think, again, when um, Ethan was talking about the, the celebration of African Americans, that's why Candace Owens and some of those other characters go on Fox News and, and they're, talk, they're talking the way they are, which it looks like they're dancing, is because that they're, um, one, yes, they are being financed, but two, you know, even when I believe Candace came to Philadelphia, it's my hometown, and she was literally probably two blocks away from the hood when she um, had a bunch of people protesting her out of a restaurant, right? Um, and she literally, it literally looked like a, a dart, right? Didn't say anything, hiding and everything else, like, oh my God, I'm in almost the black community, what to do? First thing she did was go on Twitter, you know? So, I mean, but there was, there was no, and it wasn't, it literally probably was like five people exiting her out the restaurant, so it wasn't even big. She can't, she can't handle the heat, because I was outside the White House on Friday, she, she accused me of calling her Uncle Tom and Coon, that's why she blocked me. And I said, Candace, I blocked other people for using those words. In fact, if right. you, if Umar Johnson was on my show, on TV One, oh, that was good. when he called Eugene Craig a Coon, I said, oh, hell no, you're not going to use racial right. uh, slurs on my show against another black person. Got it. Not going to happen. Mm -hmm. And I said, Candace, show me the proof. Right. <laughs> show me the proof. Uh -huh. I'm still waiting, because she can't find the proof. <laughs>